Well guys, the time has finally come. I can't believe it's here. The day that I'm making a closet clear out video. This has been a long time in the making. You guys have been asking me to make one of these for well, probably since I started my channel, I would say. And the thing is, normally when I donate clothes, I just kind of do it quietly. Like, I film my videos, I make piles of things I know I'm not going to wear, and then I drop them off at a donation box. But I normally wait a couple of months in between every time I make the drop off, because, as you guys know, I get a lot of stuff, and I don't want to be running to the donation box every three hours, so I just hold it off for a couple of months at a time, and I gather the things, and then I drop them off at once. It's been quite a while since my last drop and I have a lot of stuff here and that has ended up being quite fortunate because of an unfortunate situation in Australia. As you guys have probably heard on the news, we are currently going through the most terrible bushfire season we've ever had, I believe, in our known history. We have lost 5 million hectares of land, uh, half a billion animals have died in the fires, uh, 20, over 20 people have been killed. Tens of thousands of people have been evacuated. It's absolutely terrifying and we have people, our New South Wales rural firefighters here in the state that I live in, they're volunteer firefighters. They are fighting the fires every single day and have been for a couple of months now. And also uh, the koala bears, someone actually said to me, don't call them koala bears, they're koalas, they're not bears. Look, I was raised calling them koala bears. So the koala bears have also suffered uh, really, really terrible losses because of the fires. And I really wanted to do something to raise money for them. So between raising money for the firefighters and raising money for the koalas, I decided with my closet clear out, I'm gonna get rid of as much as I physically can get rid of. Not you. I'm not, not getting rid of you. And I'm holding a charity event here in Sydney on January the 18th. So I put it up on my Instagram story saying that I was going to hold this charity event and I said who who's interested in coming and over 2,000 people said they would come and I was like okay please don't say you're going to come unless you're actually going to come because I need to book a venue because originally I was just going to do it in a like a church hall and I can't fit 2,000 people in a church hall so I was like guys if you're n just thinking maybe you might come don't click it, click it if you are actually going to come. And I still have 900 people saying that they're going to come. So, uh, I'm going to be really, really, like, so strict in clearing this out because I want to have as much clothing at the event as I possibly can so that I can raise as much money as I is physically possible to raise. Uh, I'm also going to be baking cakes, there'll be artwork, there'll be accessories, there won't be any birds. I'm sorry. Also, because so many people are interested in coming, I was worried that I might run out of stuff, even if I donate 90% of my entire wardrobe. I was worried that I might run out of things. So I reached out to some brands that I work with and a bunch of people, a bunch of companies are sending me stuff that I can put up for sale. They're sending it for free. So 100% of every sale that we make at the event will be going to probably WIRES, which is our wildlife rescue organization and our firefighters. But please leave in the comments below if you're here in Australia or even if you're overseas and you have some opinions about how you want to see the money donated, please leave it in the comments below. I set up a GoFundMe yesterday and overnight we've raised $7,000 so far. So I really hope, you know, originally I was like, I'd like to raise 10, but based on the fact that in one night the fundraiser online has $7,000 and also all the stuff that I'll be selling, I reckon maybe I could hit like $30,000 or $40,000 uh, between the event and the fundraiser. If you're watching this video, I'm gonna put links down below to the GoFundMe Even if you just donate one dollar. I normally get like a hundred thousand views on my videos And if everyone donated one dollar, we would raise a hundred thousand uh, dollars I have 550,000 subscribers if all my subscribers made a dollar donation We'd raise half a million dollars. So I know sometimes people feel like they can't donate much They're like, oh look, I can only donate five dollars. What's the point? every single cent counts, even if you can only donate one dollar. There are so many of you out there watching this and it doesn't matter if an individual donation is small, it's what we can do all together that matters. So with that being said, I know you guys want to see the closet clear out, so I'm just going to sort of tell you a little bit about my closet and the situation I have going on here, because uh, as you are probably familiar, I have the pastel gradient here. This has been a staple on my channel for maybe like a year and a half. I also have the, the second half of the wardrobe over here, which is the interesting prints. I've got like rainbows, I've got printed things. Here's a Shiba Inu shirt. I've got, you know, this is checkers and I've got little love hearts and I've got avocados and all sorts of things here. So this is kind of like miscellaneous pastel colored clothes. 
Uh, I also have in the corner over here, I've got some nice dresses too that we're gonna pull out and I'll show you later. The main thing we're tackling today is this. There's a lot going on here. So basically, the way the, the system works in the Pretty Pastel wardrobe is, when I film my haul videos, I look at the things that I'm going to keep, and then the things that I'm going to donate, or the things that I'm on the fence about, uh, and then I either put them in here, or I put them away in the rest of the wardrobe and find a spot for them. So with one of my recent videos, I did a Yes Style workwear haul, and so this really, really nice sweater was from that workwear haul, and that fits in really nicely here, so it got put away in there. But some of the workwear, Obviously, I, I have my own workwear, so I'm probably not going to be wearing a lot of that stuff. So that has ended up in here. Some of it is... it's... it's everywhere. There's something. There's some pants from that video. So, uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do, let us go over this section here, uh, pull everything out. I feel like this is a full day's worth of organizing here because I need to try some things on. I need to make sure everything's 100% clean. Anything that needs a wash, I'm gonna have a lot of washing to do over the next uh, couple of days until the party. Uh, what else? What else do I need to do? Archie, Archie, stop, please. Stop, you're not helping. No, right, so. Something that I have here to assist me in the organization, not the bird, the bird isn't helping. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is a shopping trolley inside my house. <laughs> so uh, basically, if you are the sort of person that does your grocery shopping, walks your shopping trolley a kilometer away, and you leave it on the street, you belong in jail. <laughs> Stop. I mean, that's a bit harsh, but you should be fined, and you should be made to walk it back, because, uh, unacceptable behavior but it has worked out in my favor because now I have a shopping trolley I literally went out the front there was a shopping trolley in the street I was like well that's convenient I'm filming closet clear out today so I'm gonna use this to transport all the stuff down to my car <laughs> so um right I might ask Daniel to babysit Archie for a little while because it's, it's, it's that time of the year it's, um, it's summertime summertime fun time getting down <laughs> with mother we really shouldn't be doing that, Archie. Okay, so there's three main questions I will be asking myself while I clear out my wardrobe, and that is, one, when did I last wear it? Or at least within the last six months, have I worn this? Number two, uh, if I saw this in a store now, would I buy it? Obviously because people's tastes change. Maybe I have things here that if I saw it in store, I would be like, nope, don't want that. But am I just hanging on to it because you know, once upon a time I liked it. So, and then uh, number three is, does it spark joy, I suppose? Like, does it make me feel good? Do I feel good wearing it? Am I just hanging on to it because maybe once when I was smaller, maybe I felt good wearing it, maybe not so much now, but I'm just hanging on to it because I miss that feeling of when I did feel good wearing it. Anyway, and then my three rules. So with that in mind, I probably do have some other little rules here and there that I'm going to abide by, but I think they're the, the main rules that I should be paying attention to. So, where to begin? Uh, top shelf, baby. Top shelf? This one? Yeah. Okay. That's an easy place to start, actually, because... So these are jeans. Now, I haven't posted this video yet because I decided to put... I put all my January content on hold because it just doesn't feel right posting really happy and fun videos where I'm trying on clothes and pretending everything's fine when my country is burning to the ground. So originally I wasn't going to post anything in January, but then I decided everything I post in January I'm going to donate the ad revenue to the firefighters and wires. So that's why I'm making this video in January. So this original video, these are jeans from Fashion Nova. It was a plus size and standard size comparison video. This will be released in February once things sort of calm down a little bit in Australia and I've done my fundraising drive for the month. So you will see these things in that video, but I'll just show you kind of quickly. So we've got a, a couple of different sizes of jeans. The jeans from Fashion Nova that were a success were a great success. The things that weren't a success were awful. So we have the world's worst skinny jeans, and I really feel like I should not be putting these up for sale at the charity fundraiser because they're really not worth anything. Every cent counts though when you're raising money for charity, so I guess these can go in like a $5 bucket. These were 70, 70 or $80, but that's fine. We've got jeans with stars on them. I think I liked these in the video from memory. I did like them. This is a tough one. Did I like these enough to keep them? No. 
put them in the trolley, Alex. <laughs> in the trolley! <laughs> okay. These are your bootleg black jeans, the really long ones. I love them, but I'll never wear but I'll You'll never, never wear bootleg. Yeah, so when you when you guys watch that Fashion Nova video with the jeans, you will see the dilemma. <laughs> these were really, really cool, but Tiasha says she's never gonna wear them. So these are going. At the event, if you guys are coming on the day, we'll have jeans available in different sizes. We'll have my size, Tiasha's size, I have some sizes in between as well, up here. These are the next ones. My pearl jeans. Oh, I have- Okay, wait, pause. Sorry. Don't go over every single item. Because we're already five minutes for just jeans. Oh, okay. So just yeah. kind of be like, yes, no, you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah true. Um, I kind of want to talk about the pearl jeans though. Talk about the pearl okay. jeans. So the pearl jeans, uh, if you guys remember my channel in the first year that I started, I had this major addiction to things with pearls on them and I bought a bunch of pearl jeans from Boohoo and all that. I have not worn these since those videos, I haven't worn them once, so I think a lot of these things are going. That being said, I do wear these. These are the only pearl jeans I do actually wear. I will always love these. I do kind of feel like a, someone that's filming CGI though, like with the little white dots and they're about to 3D map Smeagol over the top of me. But I, I, I love those. This whole shelf is jeans. There's a lot of jeans. So I think what we need, we need to cue the time lapse. I do, I like these. Okay. If you're gonna wear them. Are you gonna Am I gonna them? wear them? Alex, three questions now. Test yourself. Have you worn them in the last six months? No. Are you good? What's the second one? <laughs> Would you buy it now in a store? No, you just said that you don't buy pearl things anymore. <laughs> Three, third question. Does it make you feel good about yourself? You do not wear cut off jeans. Put them in the trolley. I am yes, your worst nightmare today. <laughs> Everyone needs a Tiasha. Look, I hire her out to help you clean. I charge $100 per hour for the use of my friend Tiasha to scream at you from the corner. Oh, my Hello Kitty shorts. Hang on, what, what, was, the, what was the question again? It was, have I worn them? I've never worn these. Uh, do they make me feel good? No, that's why I've never worn them. I hate wearing shorts because of my weight loss. I have a lot of loose skin on my thighs and I hate shorts. Look, these are the cutest things ever. They, they have so Hello cute. Kitty on the someone, back. You're gonna make someone who actually wants them really happy. So that's the way you should think about it. That's true. You're not chucking these things away. You're making someone else's day. That's true. And I'm making the firefighters and the koalas happy. Exactly. <laughs> This, we should title this video, Pretty Pastel Please Contemplates Jeans for Two Hours Straight. I got these in Harajuku. Everyone loves these. Everyone that watched that video, they loved them. And I don't wear them because, I mean, I've worn them a couple of times, but they're not very flattering on me. And I feel like this is one that has to go. Okay. But I do adore them. They're beautiful. Aren't but they yes. so cool? If you know that they're not flattering on you, that's awesome. This skirt was from my Yoins haul, and at the time I really, really liked it, and it's it's got pockets. It's got pockets. But every time I pick it up, I'm like, yeah, I love the maxi, maxi long denim skirt. But then I can never think of an occasion to wear it. It's kind of like Britney and Justin in 2000, or whatever year that was. That and would be so cute with like a long sleeve sweater. Yeah, it is cute, but I've literally never worn it mm -hmm. since that video, even though I adore it. The amount of times you end up with things in your wardrobe that you just love to pieces, and then every time an opportunity arises where you could wear it, you're like, no. Nah. This trolley is like already full. Yeah, I'm gonna need another trolley. Can someone run to Woolworths and steal a trolley for me? <laughs> Some poor bugger is gonna buy this at the charity event because they're gonna be like, wow, look, that's so cute. And they're gonna wear it and they're gonna be like, razor blades everywhere on my skin. It's so painful. <laughs> but look, I don't know if people wanna go out for a rave and they need something neon. Iridescent raincoat. Gone. Oh, iridescent raincoat. Gone. We don't need raincoats in this country because it doesn't rain! With that being said, please donate to the GoFundMe in the link down below because it hasn't rained here in four months. Little tiny bandeau t-shirt thing. That is literally a napkin. How a napkin. dare you? 
That is not an item it's of clothing. <laughs> uh, but I pulled this off a fancy dinner table at a fancy restaurant. And... I, I've definitely blown my nose into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this. I don't know if I... Should I just throw this away? If anyone watched my Wish clothing haul, this was that horrendous white dress that I... I there's literally a scene of me fitting into this and it's, cr it's going crack, crack, crack as I'm putting it on. But it still looks fine. You would never know that I kind of like busted a thousand seams. It looks perfectly fine. You know, I actually think what I should do, we were saying, toying with the idea of making different sections at the event and having like a misguided shelf and a pretty little thing shelf and a wish shelf. And the wish shelf can just be, everything is free, just pay donation. <laughs> People can just pay whatever they want. Maybe that, is that a, a good idea? I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, so I can just put like free donation of your choice. Yeah. Put a it's not free, there. but look, I'm borrowing some marketing tactics from Wish. Oh, he's got to go. He's got to go. But Alex! But Alex, don't you love me? Okay, so everything in this corner is stuff from a Pretty Little Thing video. It's a funny story, I actually placed an order with Pretty Little Thing to make a haul video and the parcel went missing and it turned up six months later. And by the time the parcel turned up, I lodged a complaint and I was like, can I get a refund? And they were like, no, you have to wait two months before we'll give you a refund. And I waited and waited and then I forgot about it. And then eventually they gave me a refund and it was like, case closed. It's been four months, the parcel never arrived. And then two or three months after that, the parcel turned up. But I never made the video because every single thing was sold out. Like the stuff on Pretty Little Thing sells like hotcakes. It, like it's there one minute, gone the next, you never see it again. So all this stuff, it's not available on Pretty Little Thing anymore. So never made a video with it. So I guess this kind of counts as making a video with it now, I suppose. But I think we will have an entire shelf of clothes from Pretty Little Thing. Ah, oh, this. This is a tough one. I am going to have to show you guys this on because this... I love it and I have put this on 20 times in the past couple of months to wear it somewhere and then I've gotten ready. I've done my makeup, I've done my hair, I've put on this dress, I've put on a pair of heels, I've picked up a handbag, I've got to the front door and we have a mirror near our front door and I've looked at myself and gone, oh no, I don't like how it makes my tummy look because it's really, really tight across the tummy and it's just not flattering. But I love this, like this is so beautiful. I want to love it, I want to wear it. And I know other people are gonna be like, you're imagining it, it looks nice on you. But it's really about how it makes you feel. You know, when you wear something, if you don't feel good wearing it, even if other people are like, no, it looks good on you. If you don't feel good wearing it, you're not gonna wear it. So I guess I have to get rid of this. What's rule number three? Rule number three, does it, does it spark joy? Makes me miserable. But it sparks joy because it's beautiful. But when I wear it, it does not spark joy. Is that how the rule works? Yes. It has to spark joy when you're wearing yeah. it, right? You don't <laughs> want to put something on and then feel bad every time you put it on. So it's a constant reminder of a part of yourself that you do not like, so throw it away. Thank you. I hate this! You hate it? You haven't even seen it! I know what this is. How do pretty little thing models look so good wearing this stuff? This looked good enough on the model to make me want to buy it. I feel like my mum's 90 year old auntie. Do you really think separately that's okay? Is yeah, it, I do actually. I like think that's that? really cool. Is it cool enough I to like keep? I like the one... Shut up Alex, put it in the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you. You, <laughs> <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Any excuse to try and keep this stuff. Any excuse. I bought this because on Pretty Little Thing it looked like it was a very pale buttercup yellow. The expectation photo looked so pretty and it turned up and it was this yellow and I was like, I'm not gonna wear that. So this can go. That'll make someone's day. Someone sure. that's, that's gonna the make coolest thing. That's gonna make someone's day. Did you order ski pads? These are these are reflective. So these are actually supposed to go with this. This is a reflective top and in certain light, it, the light hits it and it goes all like shiny and reflective. That's a really cool outfit. Alex, do you ever go jogging at night? No. What is it, what is it for? Well, that's probably, it's probably for raves. Do you go to raves? No. <laughs> I often have raves in my lounge room alone. Oh. 
a long plain purple shirt. Um, I'll think about it. Alex! <laughs> Look at your pile! It's just getting bigger and bigger. You're just doing a double up on yeah, everything. But these are things that I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about. The, the only things I'm actually keeping are these. <laughs> That's what I'm actually keeping. That's the think about pile. The dolls kill trolls dress. Someone is going to love this. I've never, never worn this. I love the cut of it. The cut is really flattering, but I've never worn it and I'm never going to. That's going to make someone super happy. Do you have enough dolls kill stuff for a dolls kill rack? Maybe. Yeah, cool. I think I should actually. That'll be great. Oh, I'm so torn about this. I love this so much. I reckon people will fight over this. So I used to, just out of interest, I used to use trackable links when I posted haul videos. Not for, it wasn't commission or anything like that. I just went on google.com. G O O G L was the website and you could just paste any link and it would tell you how many times it got clicked. And I wanted to see what items were the most popular in this pretty little thing haul. And I posted this. This was one of the items from that video that got clicked on the most. So it had like, 8,000 clicks or something on this one item. <laughs> it's it's really cool. Like it's got all these different colors But the main thing for me is because this is dark pink at the front if it was this purple at the front Why don't would... you wear it back to front? Well, that's against the rules. You might be onto something. Oh, sorry guys. This is no longer available <laughs> No, but see you can see the little lines where the tag yeah, is you can a little bit but but see isn't that much I would nicer? Wear it back. Yeah. But also the front the, the back is meant to be longer than the front. The front is long now and the back is short. So, but yeah, isn't it cute? Like I just, I love the floppy sleeves. It's everything to It's me. so cute. Oh, what do I do? I can't wear it backwards. <laughs> okay, three questions. Three questions. What, one, have you worn it in the past six months? Two. Would you buy it again? If it was in a different colour? So no. Three, does it bring joy? When Not I wear it back to front. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! It has to go! It has to it's go! It's not even a con contest. <laughs> it's not fair! Green corduroy pants with a matching green corduroy Jacket. The pants, I, if they were my size, I would live in them. <laughs> you like them? I have like tears in my eyes, they're so beautiful. <laughs> this is all pretty little thing. All stuff that didn't turn up in time. So the original thought was I was going to do a pretty little thing pants video where I tried on a whole bunch of different pants from PLT. So perhaps what I should do is hang on to these and make that video, but they're all out of stock. Oh, this is cool. This is another situation that had the colour been what I was expecting, I would love this. This is like a chunky corduroy set. Iconic. Iconic. But yeah, I've never worn it. Mm. So, I guess it goes. Oh, wow. What the hell? What are those sleeves? That's so cool. Okay, this is a tough one because I've never worn this. Every time I pick it up, it sparks joy. I'm it's like, it's so, so cool. You. It's really me. Not worn it? Why have I not worn it? Why haven't I worn it? Would you buy it again? Yeah. No. Why? <sighs> yes, yes, I would buy it again. Look, when I hold my arms out like this, the rainbow is a straight line. <laughs> this whole thing, that whole box is full of mesh tops. You have a lot though. Oh, yeah. Alex, you have a lot. Do you need all of them? We can, you... we can come back to that. <laughs> because... I feel like there's definitely ones you can get rid of in there. Uh, stay! That's... They're trying to bust their way out. They want to be free. <laughs> Look, if I ever want to do a Tana Mojo cosplay, I'm going to need these. I love them. I love them unironically. You look sick. She's rich. She's, She's... opulent. She's Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the trolley! The, we've done like three shelves. We've and the, literally done three shelves. And the trolley is full. It's a good thing we have 900 people willing to take this off your hands. And they probably want some mesh shirts! <laughs> Don't guilt trip me! Let me keep my mesh babies. I've gotten rid of all of this. Can I even keep sorting because the trolley's so full? Do I need to... Should I, should I just keep building the pile? Yes. Until I can't see you anymore. 
I have hung on to these for the longest time because of the what if. What if I ever need to wear those? I have never worn them since I posted the video about these. I have never worn them. And they don't spark joy and I wouldn't buy them. These were free, but I wouldn't buy them. So I guess they have to go. But they're so cool! This, this goes way back. This is like way back before I was on YouTube. I probably got this in 2010 and it was my most treasured. This is one of my very first ever pastel items. Like I was a goth and an emo and I only wore black and this is one of the first things I bought that wasn't black. This means a lot to me, but I haven't worn it in like five years. Look, it's brand new. Like It's lovely. Look how good it is. The it's, Valley Girl? Oh yeah, it's Valley Girl. It's in the best condition ever. I used to... See, the problem is it's a Christmassy print and Christmas in Australia is so hot. So I take this to Japan because if I go to Japan in like November, December, it's a good time to wear this. Even January, February in Japan, I mean it's not a Christmas exclusive print, it's just snowflakes. So it's good to wear in winter. But our winter here, there's no snow in our winter. Uh, and Christmas is summer, so... This is I The amount of times in my life I have been through... I have held this up in front of a mirror and said to myself, do I keep it, do I not? And I always keep it just because it means so much to me. One of the articles I was reading on decluttering today was to be wary of sentimental items because... Do you get rid of them? Yeah. Really? You get rid of... <sighs> I hope someone that watches this video that comes to the event... If someone buys this, I, whoever buys this at the event, please come up to me and take a photo of you holding this with me crying. <laughs> We need a photo together, whoever ends up buying this. Uh, I think half of the event I'm gonna be like staring at it from across the room, just waiting for someone to touch it, and every time someone goes over I'm like, DON'T YOU DARE! <laughs> I just, oh I love it, but yeah, I haven't worn it in like five years. Someone's gonna love this. Man, so many people So many people that. want this. Yeah. I should put this up for auction. <laughs> you should, it's iconic. Do you people, guys remember this? Oh, people adore this. It's got the little cat faces. It's from Japan. Got it in Shibuya from a thrift store. It's so cute. I do love this, but I feel like this will make someone else really, really happy. Because I have so much stuff. As much as I adore that, like, we're doing it for charity. It's for a good cause, so... Oh, my mum bought me this shirt. When they released the Rise of Skywalker, I was looking all over the apartment for this top. Because I was like, I need to wear it. I need to wear it to the Rise of Skywalker. But I couldn't find it. And now I've found it. And my mum bought it for me. And Your mum bought you something that mom... says Aroused Vader? <laughs> I reckon she probably didn't read it, to be honest. <laughs> she really saw the Darth Vader helmet. She's like, my daughter likes Star Wars. I'll get that. Yeah, so um, I feel like I need to keep this. This is so funny. That's adorable. The monstrosity <laughs> from the uh, Wish clothing video, where That's this where they look cute. this was supposed to be a pink jacket, oh. and it's instead it's a. Uh... Oh wow, it's adorable though. You like it? I think it's really cute. Do you think people at the event would want to buy this? I think someone this? would love that. I. This is going in the free plus donation pile. Oh, people are gonna love this. This is a little pinafore dress from Harajuku that I've never worn because I. I seen. I think from memory the store didn't have a change room and I saw it on the rack and I was certain I would like it and I tried it on and I absolutely hated it and I've been waiting to donate it and uh, this is the perfect opportunity. Someone's gonna love this. This was pretty expensive. I think it was like 40 or 50 dollars so that's US dollars so maybe like 60 or 70 Australian dollars and it's brand new so I hope that we can get a bit of money for that to go to charity. Someone's gonna love these. Someone that goes clubbing and like goes to raves or something. Or maybe do I just donate them to the RFS? Because <laughs> they look like firefighters pants. They're sick. Someone would definitely Someone's love gonna those. love those. That with like a white tank top. Yeah. That's street style. That looks amazing. This. When I want to reach my final form and transform into an avocado. <laughs> This is another one from Pretty Little Thing. This looked really promising online, but it's so stiff and really uncomfortable. And I don't know, like, what do you think? 
I think it looks sick. I think that those sort of fabrics need to be worn in. That's yeah, it probably does need to be worn in because mm. it's it feels like wearing like cardboard, like it's yeah. so stiff. But it looks quite good quality. Like it looks. Amazing. I can't even. There, yeah, I couldn't even put my hand on my hip. Mm. It's. It takes up a huge amount of room. It does look nice though. It even it looks nice with a gold necklace that I'm wearing underneath. Mm. And then it's got this silly belt at the bottom. That which, needs to go. Which, so strange. So silly. <laughs> Get rid of that. Why, why would you put belt hoops at the bottom of a jacket like that? Uh, maybe I should keep it. Maybe. I personally think it looks really cool on you. I guess if I wear it a lot more, it'll break in. Okay, You've so, gotta we, wear it, so we keep this one. I, have, I haven't really kept for it, like a huge yeah. amount, so I guess I shouldn't feel too guilty. Yeah. Bear eyes don't agree with my head. No, you have a ponytail now, to be fair. Yeah, but... That is, like, the one of the only hats that I think you should keep. That looks really cute. That suits you so much. Okay. The purple one could have gone. Yeah. This definitely can go. Yeehaw. That actually should go in the bin. <laughs> the, the bin? Just because it's bent... This can, is... it, can it be unbent? Surely. I don't think straw like that can get, um, like, get back in shape. Look... If I can get back in shape after Christmas, this hat can get back in shape. So, where are we at? We have a huge, huge pile. Oh, there's more. There's a whole other row, which actually has a lot of stuff. I think we need a break. Okay. I need a break. Wait, before we break, there's 20 minutes left till I have to go. So should we just smash out the last okay. shelf? It'll make you feel good, I promise. Okay. This is a dilemma. My Pepsi shirts. I love these. I love them so much, but I haven't worn them since I filmed that. These are from my Forever 21 video. I went shopping at Forever 21 in Hawaii, and I bought these, and I love them. And they do look really cool with mum jeans and like tied up or tucked in. Oh, it's a hard one. Maybe I should get rid of that one, but I feel like I should keep this one. Do you reckon? I totally agree. Okay, cool. Oh, look, this is so cute. Oh! What do I do? Question? Questions. Have I worn it? No. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would you? Yeah. Okay. Does it bring me joy? Yes. But I haven't, I haven't worn it since that video. I thought I would get heaps of wear out of it. Why haven't you worn it? I don't, I, I don't know. Well, I guess to be fair though, we've had pretty hot weather since then. No, you've been down in Hawaii, right? Yeah. So we've definitely we've gone through a whole winter of you not wearing it. I'm not playing today, Alexandra. <laughs> I'm gonna think about it. Okay, she's gonna think. Guys, serious question. So, like, the stuff that I got from Fashion Nova, all of these jeans were seventy to eighty dollars. I don't know how much I should be selling them for because it's a charity event and I want it to be affordable for everyone. But at the same time, if I had returned these to well. To be fair though, Fashion Nova doesn't give refunds, they give store credit. So the money, I was never going to get the money back, but I don't know, I don't know if I should sell, like should I put, how much do you think, if, you were, if you're coming to my charity event and you know you're going to buy some jeans, they're brand new, they've only been worn just putting, trying them on in the video, seeing that they didn't look any good and then deciding, you know, we're not going to keep them, is like $40 reasonable? Please leave comments down below and help me. They're literally $80 jeans and they're good quality and they're yeah. Fashion Nova. Yeah. Like... The cursed Fashion Nova skirt. You know how much hate I've had over the skirt? So I wore this for a week long wear test and Sam and I went out for lunch and it was so short and I was gonna tell people like, oh, like look how short it is when I go up a staircase, you can see my butt. And everyone yelled at me because they, because Sam was filming me and they were like, you just showed your ass to your ex-boyfriend. How dare you, you're disgusting. I'm unsubscribing and all this sort of thing. Oh Sam's a gentleman, he wasn't looking. <laughs> I was like, this is very short. You're gonna be able to see up my skirt. Can you just hold the camera for me? He's like, I wasn't looking. I didn't even know that you could see your butt. Because the Sam's thing, a gentleman. Yeah, <laughs> but also the thing that people need to realize with Sam is like, he's like your brother now. It's, yeah. not the, yeah. it's not the same thing. And the other thing people need to realize, I'm making videos about clothes to show you guys whether or not they're worth your money. And if I say, well, this is short, 
how else am I going to show you how short it is unless I, like, walk around yeah. and wear it? Anyway, I just uh, caught a lot of hate over this skirt, so I hope that... I hope someone buys it and they pay a lot of money for it and that goes to charity so the skirt has done something good because it's done nothing but generate hate for me. <laughs> Okay, so that's most of the shelves done. So what I need to do now is go through accessories because I've got some accessories on the bottom shelf and in this box and obviously I have some bags up the top here. But we've been going at this for quite some time. I'm desperate for a break. So I think may even resume either later tonight or tomorrow even. Clearing out <laughs> wardrobes is quite exhausting. And I still have all of that left to go. 